Okay, who's ready for a December update? I am. Uh, first of all, happy holidays, everybody. Hope uh, the holidays are going well for you, wherever you are. I've got a pretty good, uh, decent size update here for December. And uh, I'm going to start it off with some laser discs here. But before I do, I just want to say I got some great uh, channel content coming up in the new year. I'm going to be doing some best edition available uh, Blu ray slash DVD reviews uh, to help people with, you know, finding the best edition. You know, if, if you're looking for the best edition of Texas Chainsaw Massacre, I'm going to review it and tell you why. Uh, Japan, for example, is, has the best edition. Maybe you have more features, maybe a better transfer, that sort of thing. So I'm going to start that and I'm going to start showcasing some of my more rarer box sets that I have. Like I know I have. Uh, one I haven't done a review on yet is I have the Critters uh, Fur Box from Hungary. I haven't really seen anyone show that one off, so I, I got that one planned for a future video too. So uh, keep tuning in, and uh, yeah, my content should get a lot better. So anyway, let's start off with these uh, laser discs here. I picked up the Japanese release of Blood Feast with this awesome cover. Uh, I love this painted artwork, and... Uh, yeah, I I think the U.S. edition is a lot different than this, but whenever there's gore on the cover, I try and pick it up. So uh, yeah, that's Blood Feast, just awesome. I love the blood splatter on the side. Japan, I swear to God, they do the best, the best transfer uh, artwork on there, on all their releases, whether it's VHS or Laserdisc. I just love them. Here's a, a UK release of Halloween on Laserdisc. I said UK, right? Yeah, UK. I have the US Criterion as well. I'm trying to get all these Halloween movies on uh, Laserdisc on various countries. I've got the Japanese release coming to me in the mail as we speak. And uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm on my way. But yeah, this is an, a fantastic re looking release. I love how, you know, the Halloween back is in the background and they got the image where, you know, the original cover out there on the front, and then they got a thing here with Michael Myers in the corner. Just awesome. And the back is a great image. So that's Halloween. Then this here is not a laser disc; it's a vinyl record. And uh, I th let me think, who put this out? It, I think it was Mondo. Uh, Mondo Tees put this out, and. Uh, it was a limited edition. I ordered the, I ordered. A, I think no, with with every order that you give, you you either get a black vinyl, or you get a limited edition orange vinyl. And uh, I know Kurt ordered one, and he didn't want to open it. He didn't want to break the sale on it. But I couldn't. I couldn't do that. I wanted to break the sale and see if I got one of the limited ones. And I was stoked that I did. So yeah, it's one of the. Uh, the limited orange uh, soundtracks, and not only that, but they do have a. I think it was an orange splatter soundtrack, which you actually did have to buy, and it was pretty expensive. So I opted to take my chances and try and at least get one of these, which I think it it, it fits the film well. Uh, you know, I I don't currently have a, a turntable to play this on, but it's on my my wish list, so. Hopefully I'll get one because I, I've been ordering these vinyl soundtracks like crazy. This is this is like my new addiction because uh, they they were, you know what it is? It's a lot of like these independent record companies. They're doing these colored versions, which I'm a sucker for. And I've actually thought about it the other day. And basically, no matter what you take, you could take a piece of, uh, you could take a turd off the street. If you color it and call it, call it a limited edition, most likely I'd buy it. That's basically how I roll. So, yeah, I was stoked to get that. I'll show you the inside, too. I think it's a gatefold cover. And, yeah, so you got a nice picture of the house there. Michael approaching the house with the dead body. And the pumpkin on the uh, sill. And the back side of the house there. And it's just lots of nice shadow work. This was actually made into a poster on their site that sold out within seconds. And there's the back. 
motion picture soundtrack by John Carpenter. Pretty nice. I was really excited to get that. Uh, next, I have this Good Times TV show. This was a lunchbox edition of the first season. It was a Best Buy exclusive at the time. It's out of print now, so it's probably pretty hard to find. But, uh, yeah, it's a great addition. I used to love watching this show growing up. It used to always be on in the daytime over here. This guy, he had, he scared the hell out of me. He was always pissed off. He, always, he was always taking his belt off to whip someone with. But it was, it was, this was a funny show. I just, I loved it. I got some hard boxes here. Now, this these aren't for the faint of heart. So, uh, look away if you hate blood. First one here is Savage Vengeance. This is supposed to be... I don't know, I think it's an unofficial sequel to I Spit on Your Grave. But from what I've heard from a couple of different people, it's absolutely horrible, the movie. It's just a practically unwatchable. But, you know, I pretty much got it for the gore covers. I love these gore covers that Massacre Video are putting out. They are pretty pretty sweet. I got another gore cover here, Snuff 102. And uh, this was limited to 102 pieces. Well, yeah, that's that was a nice little marketing trick there, but yeah, this one, uh, I, I guess it's more of an extreme type film. Uh, I haven't watched it yet, so I can't comment on it. But yeah, these are. I mean, look at those two covers; they're just gag-inducing. And then I got one of the original uh, Black Devil dolls. I think it's a 1972 film. Uh, this was limited to 66 pieces. And, uh, yeah, this isn't the remake. This is the original directed by Chester N. Turner. And, uh, I, yeah, I was so, I was psyched to get this. The, the, uh, the more popular cover sold out within seconds. I couldn't get that, but I was happy to get anything. So, next I have a couple of Christmas steelbooks. I've got, uh, Scrooged and Elf. These are, these are still available on Amazon if people are interested in them. Really nice looking steel books. I think they have interior artwork too. And uh yeah, Scrooge is always was one of my favorites growing up and Elf Elf is, is a classic. It's just it's probably my favorite Will Ferrell movie. And this one I think they they snuck the soundtrack in there because this is like a really thick package. So that's that's pretty nice. So yeah, you can get those on Amazon. They're pretty cheap actually, I think. Amazon was having a sale. I think I paid seventeen dollars for each one. So. Next, I got another uh, TV season, Married with Children, season eight. I started collecting these uh, a long time ago, and then I just kind of stopped because it was just getting too expensive. Now they've dropped down in price, so uh, I I started grabbing them. They're like seven dollars a piece now, like brand new, sale on Amazon. So if anyone's looking for them. Now's the time to grab them. Yeah, the show started to go downhill around this season, but still, I mean, it's still funnier than just about anything that's on TV nowadays. So, I love this show. The as far as the complete series goes, I know that the packaging is shit, which is why I haven't picked it up. But um, there is a packaging I'm looking for. I think Germany and Australia actually got this really nice. Uh, box set of Married with Children. It's inside of a TV. It looks like it's a TV set with antennas and stuff. Uh, it's a little pricey still. It's a lot pricier than the American. But, you know, that's the that's the edition I would want. If, uh, unfortunately, it still has the the music on it that is, uh, what do you call it? The uh, They had to change the Love and Marriage theme by Frank Sinatra to some crappy instrumental thing that sounded ridiculous. So that's still on it, so, but at least it's a nice looking package. Uh, Dust Devil. This is a five disc version. And uh, I think it was limited. It was by Subversive Cinema. I did not care for this at all. This I tried to get into it. This is like a horror western. Um, yeah, I don't even know what to say about it. I was bored to tears. But it is a nice uh, out of print title. So I won't be getting rid of it. Maybe I'll revisit it. When I'm in a different mood or something. I don't want to spend a lot of time on that. Uh, VHS 2. Great film. I, I want to start this uh, little thing off saying it's a great film. I enjoyed this 
immensely. I'll be watching it over and over again. However, the people that are saying that it was way better than VHS one, I don't know. I didn't feel, I didn't see that. Maybe I went into this expecting too much because I heard everybody saying that. To me, I thought it was on on par with the first one because I I enjoyed the first one. I loved it. So and I think the first one actually has a little bit more memorable segments in it. Like I I just I I enjoyed that um, that crazy that crazy girl that they picked up at the party that kept saying, I like you, I like you, you know, I don't know. I loved the first one. This one I thought was really well done. And this one was good too. This one had a lot of good scenes. And uh, yeah, so I love the VHS movies. And uh, I was really happy to get that. I got three, I got three more left here that I haven't had a chance to check out yet because I've been watching so many holiday stuff. Um, the Haunting of Whaley House. This was a movie that was done by someone on YouTube here who has his own channel, Jose Prendez. And, uh, yeah, the main reason I got this was not only because I know him through YouTube, but also Mindy Robinson is beautiful. Uh, she's uh, just a beautiful actress who is who appeared in some of his um, short films that he was doing. And, and he occasionally... She occasionally pops up on Wet Movie One's channel, and yeah, just I I just wanted to see more of her stuff. She's also in the new Evil Bong vs. Ginger Dead Man sequel, so uh, yeah, you you'll see, you'll know her when you see her. But yeah, she's I think she's really up and coming, and I wanted to see her in this. Next is Hard Candy Blu-ray. Uh, I got this because I haven't seen it yet, and it has Patrick Wilson, who's been in a lot of great. James Wan movies like The Conjuring and stuff. He's in everything. And, uh, yeah, I haven't seen this horror movie by him. This was his first, so I wanted to check that out. And I finally picked this one up. I've seen this in a Willie Mark 1 video a long time ago. Crude Restaurant. I cannot wait to watch this. I think it's in Japanese with English subtitles. But, um, yeah, it looks gory. It looks fun. And I can't wait to check it out. So, guys, that's going to be it. I tried to do it as quick as I can. I don't know how many minutes I got. I got 748 seconds, however long that is. So uh, that was my haul for December. I hope everyone has a happy holiday, and uh, I'll talk to everybody soon.